Hello, everyone. We are going to learn how to build a flyer today. Uh, your first step after you click start is to come to a page that's going to look like this, and you have three paths to choose from. The first is the A4 library. Now, this is where we've created several flyers that you can start with and just edit, swap out wording, add your logo, change products even. Uh, but it's a quicker way to do it if you see a format that you like. Once you've created a flyer, it will show up in your My Flyers section, and this becomes essentially your own personal library of flyers that you have already created. And then last, and what we're going to be looking at today, is the Create New Flyer, where you're essentially starting from scratch. So let's dive right in. Your first choice is going to be the Canvas, and really it is a misnomer to call it a flyer builder because you can build so much more. You can really build posters, Facebook posts, Instagram, and a wide variety of different things. I'm going to start today, though, with just the letter 8.5 by 11 size canvas. So we select that. We give our flyer a name. I'm going to do a football jersey flyer, and it's going to feature the drills and rollout. So that will be my description. And I click Create. Now, you are offered a chance to create a number of decisions up front so that every time you bring product in, it will include those decisions. I don't want to do that here, though, because I want to show you how to make those decisions on the fly. So we'll skip this step. Now, if you are going to use an action image or a lifestyle image, I do recommend you put that on first. So that's what we're going to do here. We just click Add Image. I'm going to choose lifestyle images, and you see we've uploaded a variety of different sport-related uh, photos here. Um, now we're going to do a football uh, flyer, so I'm going to choose the appropriate image. I think we'll do this one. So if I just click the plus symbol, it's going to drop it on the page. Now we do get to resize it, and I want this to be more of a close-up. So I'm going to make it much bigger. We'll go way off the canvas, but that'll be okay. And that's going to work for us for now. Um, what I'm going to do now is create some white space where I currently have an image. So let me just click Add a Shape. I'll add a basic rectangle and make it white. I can just choose that color selector over here. Uh, and you can see you can choose from you know any color. But I've chosen white because I want that to be the uh, basically white space, paper space uh, on the flyer. I'm going to create a little room up top where eventually we're going to put our contact information and a logo. And then I could create another rectangle and make it white and resize it, or I could just select the one I did, hit duplicate, and it will create it for me. It's just a much faster way to go about that. And I'm going to make sure we have some nice white space here at the bottom. Okay, so that's a good looking image. Now let's add our product. I just click Find Products. Um, and let's start with the drills. Here it is. Now I can load this, but first I'm going to change the color. I could change it to any color. Of course, it could be black or hunter, maroon, navy, anything. Um, I'm going to put gold just because it matches our photo. And when it pulls it in, now it's going to drop it on page two, which is no problem. I'm just going to right click on it and move it to page one. And then I can move it down here. Um, now we're also going to add a game jersey. Um, so one thing I want to do here is shorten this text. Um, I can do that by making all my choices on this side, right? So I could change the color of the photo. I can make it bigger or larger, right? I have all those controls on this side. Um, so we'll leave it at about that size. I could change the product name, right? Or delete it. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. The product ID, so that's that NB4260. I'm going to get rid of it. Simple click and it's gone. Gender, going to get rid of that. Click and it's gone. The description here, I'm just going to leave the bullet points. So just for space sake, um, I'm going to make that decision. 
And then we can, of course, resize it this way to create more room if we want. I'm going to leave just enough to get that last swatch up there. There we go. Um, okay, so I think that's okay for now. Let's pull in our second jersey. Uh, let's do the rollout. So same process. It can be any color. I'll go ahead and leave this one black and white. We'll add it. It'll drop on page two, but I will move to page one. Bring it down here. That image will pop in in just a second. There we go. Same thing. I'm going to shorten that description uh, by just using the features. And I'm going to get rid of the gender and the product ID. And then that's going to fit nicely right below. And there we go. We've got a practice jersey and a game jersey with a nice image. Now, I want to add um, some wording here uh, in a couple of places. So I click Add Text and choose my font. We have many different fonts to choose from. Um, I kind of like this Oswald, so I'm going to choose that. And we're going to call this, uh, let's say, a jersey sale. There we go. And now I can move this. And in this case, I'm going to put it over the image. And we just drag it to make it larger. I'm going to go even bigger than that, though. And to make it more noticeable, I do want to change the color. There we go. That pops a lot more. We'll bring it down. That looks nice. Um, but it's a sale, so I want to show what the offer is. So now I'm going to add another shape. We'll make it a circle this time. I'm going to put it down here, make it a little bigger. Let's make it red because that, that feels more like a sale. And we'll add some text on top of that. Let's say our deal is buy both 25% off. And I just grab that, move it right on top. Can make it a little bit bigger. And I think we'll make that white as well. And there we go. Um, now, I could change the price here. This is $18.37. That's kind of a funky price. So if I just go over here and go to price, I can leave it at the retail price. That's what loads by default. I can use my own price. I can do a standard markup, like a 50%, 25% markup, or I can put call for pricing. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to click put in my own price, and let's make it $19.99. And we'll leave the other one at 26. We've got our sale offer. We just need some contact information. So again, we're going to add some text. I'm going to keep the same font. And let's put in a phone number and an email address. And we can move that again to make it larger. I just drag the corners. I'd like to justify that to the right. So click that. that nice. And there's our phone number and email address. And now I want to add our logo, add some branding here. So we go back to add image. I'm going to upload an image. And I'm going to choose the A4 logo. You, of course, would choose your own. So there it loaded in. I think it's that, that one. And there we go. We now have a great looking Jersey sale flyer featuring a practice jersey and a game jersey. We're all done. So I click Save and Share. And as it saves, when this comes up, you'll notice we have many different ways to share it. So the first thing you can do is copy the link. And then if you email that link to anybody, they'll go directly to this flyer. The second thing you can do is share through all of these features. And these will come up once it's done publishing. But you can post it to Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, all of these options. Of course, you can download as a PDF or a PNG, which is just an image file format. And if you're using MailChimp or Constant Contact, you can actually import it directly into those email marketing services. So that's it, folks. Uh, that took just a couple of minutes. We've got a great looking flyer with a nice action photo on it, a couple of jerseys and a sale offer. And it literally took just a few minutes. 
So play around with the tool, get familiar, be creative. Have a great day, folks.